in, in Chapel Hill. Oh, that's great. All right, well, welcome everybody. Welcome to Ten at Noon. I'm really uh, happy to see you. Happy to welcome Jonathan Goldstein back. Um, you know, has been uh, been participating with us since I think back in April. I think he started helping uh, doing this, or maybe May. I don't remember. Um, and I love the fact that you know uh, Jonathan is 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 not um, uh, uh, he he doesn't make his living as a as a song leader and as a musician. Um, he's a he's a software guy, uh, but I know really looks forward uh, to these uh, these moments in the middle of Friday um, uh, to join us, and we we welcome him. We uh, I feel like he's Jonathan. You're very much a part of our Schmackolainu family, so welcome. Um, and to all of you who uh, have joined us, whether it's been weeks or uh, since yesterday, um, so glad to see your faces. Uh, today, this is um, uh, this weekend is uh, Shabbat Lech Lecha, and it is um, one of the most powerful stories in the Jewish tradition. The first parsha begins with Genesis and the creation of the world creation of human beings. Second parsha is about Noah, chaos in the world, and God choosing Noah to be the sole survivor along with his family, to build an ark, and to be, to be saved. And Noah is called um, Ish Tzadik Bedorotav. He's, he's righteous given his generation. And then we arrive to, uh, to some na man named Avram, and his wife Sarai, and they uh, hear this call that um, some argue is a call that came from the universe, not even necessarily from God, but from the universe calling out to what our tradition teaches should be uh, obvious um, if you're paying attention, and that is all of us are one. All of us are connected. And that any philosophy or tradition that would suggest otherwise is anathema to creation. So God calls upon Avram and God says, Lech Lecha, go forth from everything you've known, from everything you've been raised with, go forth, but go in and discover the, the truth that is in your kishkis, not a truth that will lead you to overpower others, but rather will lead you to become more intimate with others. Now that is the story, I believe, of Jewish tradition. That is the story that drives so much of what we are ready and to learn and to embrace. And precisely, possibly because it's so easy to find ourselves believing otherwise. Our sense of better than them, um, our sense of what we deserve um, is all very much, is all very much, um, that's the illusion. And that the truth is our interconnectedness. Jonathan? Lefanecha, 
Adonai Suri Gawali Lefaneha Adonai Suri Suri Gawali Of my heart be acceptable to you. May the words of my mouth and the meditations be acceptable to you. Adonai, my rock, Adonai, my rock. My rock and my redeemer. I invite you to write in the names of people you're thinking of who are in need of healing and wholeness. May they move from strength to strength. Master of the universe, I am alone with my shoes and still I cannot move. One step and the world would cease to exist. Let me know in some abstract, non-abstract way, in my deepest being, my soul, that it is safe. Let me be wise myself, trust with them, wisdom. Let us be wise together. Let my soul speak freely to my heart. Let my mind take a vacation now and again, vacate the space so my soul might take up residence. I am carrying my soul with me wherever I go. Ahead, a field, a small house, a mountain, I unpack my bag, take out a sandwich and made and make tea. I reach in, I pull up my soul. It is a mouth now, a quill, a stick, a light, an inner shining. It has taken the shape of prayers. I am speaking to you, from you, the same voice. Save me, my soul. Pick me up and lay me down carefully. Hey. 
Eheu, may the source of strength who blessed the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Bless those in need of healing with refuge. The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Amen. This is uh, the final Shabbat of the election season. And most importantly, I pray that come this next Shabbat, there is more peace than there is strife. I pray that there is more understanding than there is disgust. I pray that there is more wholeness in the world. Amen. Amen. As I think all of you know, Josh Goldberg will be joining us tonight for services um, at 6, well, 6.15 with our schmooze, 6.30 for services. Tomorrow morning we have Torah study with me at 11 a.m. Um, and I hope you'll consider joining us for that. And the information's online. And once again, huge thank you to Jonathan. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Jonathan. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you, Rabbi. Love that melody, Jonathan. Oh, yes. so glad. Beautiful. Beautiful. It was an original. Oh, it's beautiful. That's wow. original from you? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. All Love right. It. Wow. Beautiful. beautiful. Really moving. Wow. I want to say hello to my sister, Holly. Well, Amy, Thank you made it. Thank you for including me. I love you. I love you, too. I'm calling from Denton, Texas. Oh, oh wow. I'm not that far away from you. I'm in McKinney. Really? Yeah. <laughs> We're all connected through Zoom, though. Yeah, we are. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to South Oklahoma. Thank you. <laughs> South Oklahoma. <laughs> That's what I feel like. We are South Oklahoma. We are so South Oklahoma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, y'all. Bye, right. Bye, everybody. Shabbat shalom. Bye. Bye.